Now well into its third season, Pop-Up Globe Theatre continues to showcase Shakespearean masterpieces, including Julius Caesar. Now here to tell us why we should head along are two of the star players, Jesse Lawrence and Sheena Irving. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, let's start first with you, Jesse. Your run with Julius Caesar started in January. How's it all been going? Yes, it's been going amazingly. It's been going really, really great. Um, Julius Caesar is the bloodiest production the Pop-Up Globe has seen to date. Mm. So it's a lot of fun for the audience, especially the Groundlings. Mm. We always say the Groundlings is the best place to be to watch really? the show. Do you have to wear like those raincoats to cover to keep the spatter <laughs> off? We, there are Groundlings that come a lot and wear white t-shirts and stand right at the front just especially so they can collect as much blood as possible. Yeah. That's a thing. Well, okay. it's a thing. Yeah. And that's the thing about the Pop-Up Globe. It is fascinating. For those that don't know the story, can you give us a quick synopsis, Sheena? Quick, syno <laughs> <laughs> quick yeah. synopsis. So Julius Caesar is a political tragedy um, where my character Brutus and some other conspirators become really concerned about Julius Caesar, played by the amazing Donna Reese, who's taking control um, in what is a republic. So they have to come up with a plan to mitigate Skull the danger duggery. of that. Mm. Yeah, and intrigue. And doctors. Yeah. Yeah. And if you haven't been to the pop-up globe, it's quite a special place to both, to both watch shows and format, I guess, yeah. as well. Magical. So what makes it so yeah. special, do you think, for people who haven't well, been? our um, musical director, Paul McClaney, he said, he, he described it beautifully, he said it's a big empathy drum. Mm. So it's a way where, it's a space where an actor can perform, but it's like you're, you're getting back as much as you're giving to the audience. So it's just a big shared experience where you communicate with them, you know, make eye contact. There's like a little bit of riffing going on, talking to the audience members, and it's just a really special way of doing theatre. Wow. It, yeah. it, it looks magical and because we can see the audience and we're talking directly to them, mm. that, that's what sets it apart, I think. We've had a few summer storms, uh, so what do you do when that happens? <laughs> you keep going and <laughs> you yeah. get wet. Yeah. <laughs> but it kind of adds to it. There's something actually really special about being in that space when it starts to get dark and the lights come on mm. and it's pouring with rain and you're on stage with blood all over your face and it's just a really exciting way to experience theatre. Mm. You've got to factor in the helicopters as well and things. Oh, yeah, yes. Come over, all that True, sort of the thing. sirens that are going past. <laughs> um, Jesse, you have played some strong female characters before. You're, um, you're Cheryl West's sister, aren't you? Jeanette? Yeah, in West Side. In yeah. West Side. But this is actually gender reversed. Yes. So you're playing the blokes. Yeah, so uh, there's 11 <coughs> females in the company and two men. So I'm playing Mark Antony, Sheena's playing Brutus, and um, we have two Alison, guys playing... Yeah, yeah Alison Bruce is playing Cassius. Yeah, and then we've got two guys playing the, um, the traditional female ro roles which is really exciting. I mean, it's 2018, you know, like, let's get a bunch of powerful women being powerful on stage. Like, it just kind of makes sense. Mm, yes. um, so it's it's really exciting to see women be warriors. We do amazing fight sequences yeah. choreographed by Alex Holloway, where we, um, yeah, we've, it's, we kill and... and and better. It's, and it's amazing to be the people that are getting to do the fighting. I love it. And not yeah. just standing there going, oh, exactly. exactly. Help me, save me. Yeah. No, we don't need help. We can kill the people. We can save ourselves. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And speaking of those fight scenes, you mentioned earlier the blood. How much do you think you'd go through? A lot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't have an, an amount, but heaps. Are we talking heaps. buckets? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So is it like yeah. a, is it like a boxing ring at the end of the show where someone's like this? Sort of we have to, we have, we, yeah, they have to kind of there's, clean it. We had to build that into the show. Yeah, there's tactical blood cleaning yeah. moments in the show. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, you know, as part of, I guess, the theatre scene, is getting to perform in the pop-up globe one of those bucket lists for you both? For me, absolutely, yeah. I, yeah, it's been a dream since, yeah. since I can't remember when. Yeah, it's an incredible kind of a sacred, magical space. Uh, every time I step out on there, it feels special. I yeah. bet it does. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess it's also quite good to have on your CV that you performed at, at the Pop-Up Globe. Yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's one of those spaces that require a lot of technical um, consideration, you know, mm. in terms of your voice, in terms of your physicality, where you place yourself on the stage, talking to the audience. There's a lot of stuff going on, but once you kind of clock into being in that space, it just makes you feel really alive. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds exciting. Yeah. Can't wait to see it, and it's going on for a bit longer yet now. Thank you so yes. much for joining us, guys. Pop Up Globe Season 3. It's currently running at Auckland's LSD Racecourse. Tickets are available from Event Finder. Mm.